everyone, it's Christina. Today I want to do a video of the day in August um, about improving your life and changing one thing about your life that you um, that can instantly improve the quality of your life and how you feel. Um, when I was a kid, I used to um, I, I, I was born in Russia, and in Russia it was a very big deal if you got a hold of soda and. In Russia, you know, you don't have a lot of money. At least I didn't when and my family didn't. So we, it was such a big deal to get soda and have it with dinner. And then I moved to this country and soda was everywhere. I remember flying on a plane to this country. They gave, I kept asking for tons and tons of soda. I have never seen so much soda in my life. And I don't know why it was such a big deal. And I mean, I know why. Duh, it tastes amazing. It was so good. I remember those days of how wonderful soda tasted. But as I became older, as I became wiser, as I got to know my body a little bit, um, I saw the damage that it was doing to my body. I could tell by how I was acting as I was growing as a teen here how it was damaging how I was behaving, the types of foods I was craving. So, one thing that you could change today is stop drinking soda. And I believe that when people drink soda, they are truly addicted to soda. And I see good friends drinking soda. I see, you know, I drink soda once in a while when we go out to a special event or something. One thing that really upsets me is sometimes my husband craves soda and he wants to encourage our daughter to drink soda or to at least try it. And that makes me so angry because I went through such a hard time in my adolescence being on the sugary high and then having weight issues and being confused as why I feel like all of a sudden so energetic and then all of a sudden I crash. It was horrible. So I don't want to expose my child to this horrible substance. And I've done lots of research and read lots of articles about it and have seen it on the news, all of the bad things about soda. And now they're talking about um, putting warning labels on soda or creating a tax for soda. I definitely believe that it is our responsibility to eliminate these drinks. But why do we not do it? I want to know. I, I know you guys out there drink soda. I mean, I do it once in a while when I don't know, when I was pregnant I was craving a little bit and I would have it like once in a while. But let me talk about the, some of the side effects of soda and then I want to hear what you guys have to say and how you know it affects your life and uh, what do you think we can do to help get rid of soda or eliminate it from our diets. So some of the side effects are it uh, phosphoric acid, which is in soda, weakens bones. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the video um, on, uh, I don't know if they showed it on TV or on YouTube. Uh, someone puts an egg into soda for like a year and then it dissolves. The shell of the egg dissolves and all you have is just a hard boiled egg. And this is what's happening to our bodies. This uh, phosphoric acid is eating at our calcium. It's leaching the calcium out of our bones, out of our teeth. It's like the worst thing that you could do for your teeth. My husband, uh, which is funny, he's a dentist and he, you know, he advises patients not to drink soda and that makes me angry when he like here honey try the soda you know just just try it to our daughter and it makes me so angry but anyways um, you lose calcium then um, it has loads of artificial sweeteners which make you crave more um, sugar and in diet sodas uh, specifically uh, what is it called aspartamine or whatever that uh, artificial sweetener is you're not getting any calories but research so shows that even though you're not getting the calories you're craving more f like sugary things later which I have experienced so many times when I would drink these products I would crave so much more sugar and I have a sugar problem so I shouldn't even be eating anything or drinking anything sugary at all so um, research has shown that it leads to type 2 diabetes long-term pancreatic um, cancer um, high fructose corn syrup, which is a highly concentrated form of sugar, which is derived from corn, um, it leads to gaining fat, um, cholesterol, uh, and raising triglycerides makes you hungry and crave more sugar and makes you crave more junk overall, which that's how my diet is, uh, was in high school. And every time I'm around that kind of diet, like barbecues or anyone's birthdays, 
I notice a behavioral change in myself, which there is a study that shows that drinking this, um, it really changes how you how your brain functions. It creates hyperactive behavior, um, difficulty focusing, and lack of um, impulse control. So. All these things are like red flags left and right but it's you know so does not ban here so we have to take responsibility for you know our children for instilling the foundation I saw dr. Oz show where it uh, where he talks about how he is not allowed to have soda or soft drinks of any kind in the house we should be encouraging our children even ourselves and being role models for ourselves to drink water I am such a water drinker I cannot even explain to you how much I love water it makes me feel good it makes me look good I, f I see it in my complexion when I drink water and I eat really well and then I don't know I just I know it's very hard for to change this and I know there's lots of political debates going on especially with all the health care reform but I think you like Dr. Oz said you have to be preventative you have to start in your own home and make the changes and so one thing that you can change today is don't drink soda drink water um, our bodies are made of 60 percent of water so let's put water back not these uh, chemically infused drinks that you know are not natural it's been altered by science uh, science is good but when you're putting things like that into your body it's not good so if you could do one thing today drink water not soda and make that a habit daily every day change that instead of drinking soda go for water and you'll see your life get a little bit better